Today, let's talk about barbless hooks. Using barbless hooks while fishing is a quick and easy way to increase the survival of fish that you release, since barbless hooks are much faster and easier to remove than barbed hooks. And getting that fish back in the water faster with less handling will definitely help to increase its chances of survival. Now, a hook's design itself is what makes it effective for fishing, not the barb. So you can create your own barbless hooks by just crimping down the barb yourself with a pair of pliers. I'll show you how. So you'll take the hook with the barb and your pair of pliers over the barb and squeeze and crimp down until that barb lays flat against the hook. If you have a larger hook, a large bench crimper can be used as well. These jig heads have barbs, and this is very common uh, inshore. You can use a soft body on there, and they are barbed. So if I was to use this, and I put it into the carpet, it is going to be really hard for me to remove it. Imagine if that was you, or someone you love, or your net, or your towel. It'd be really hard to get this hook out of here. I'm gonna take this other jig head and you can crimp the barb and make your hook barbless all by yourself just by using a pair of pliers and applying some pressure and crimping that barb down. Now, if I put that into the carpet, just like so, try to get it down in there, I can actually take it out and put it in several areas. So just for your own safety purposes, it's great to use a barbless hook, but imagining that this was a fish's mouth, it would make it seem like it's a lot faster to take that hook out if it was barbless. And speed is key, so the faster you get a hook out and the fish back in the water, the greater its chances of survival. Even better would be to use something like this circle hook that is barbless. And You'll provide the greatest conservation benefit when you use barbless circle hooks that are non-offset and non-stainless steel. A circle hook allows a fish to uh, be able to swallow the hook but then have that hook come back out and get hooked in the corner of the mouth most of the time rather than actually getting hooked in the gut. And this is great because it's much faster and easier to remove that hook and get that fish back in the water. Circle hooks are especially useful when you're fishing with natural baits. And when using barbless circle hooks, let the fish take the bait and do not jerk the rod to set the hook. Once the fish has been hooked, just steadily reel in the line. Speed is key when handling and releasing fish that you can't keep. The faster you get the fish back in the water and the less that you touch it, the bigger its chances of survival are going to be. Keep your fingers out of the eyes and gills of the fish. If you're going to take a photo, support the fish horizontally and then submit that photo to catchaflordamemory.com where you can earn prizes and recognition for your fishing achievements. You can help release fish survive and the next angler will thank you for it. Find out more at myfwc.com slash fishhandling.